Thank God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Welcome back, everybody. It's Top Bins Football. You're joined with me, Louis, Azza, and Benny. And today we're going to talk about the top 11 transfers in Premier League history. Um, it's one per position, and we, we've all discussed it. We're going to argue. We're going to see where we put people. So let's go. What do we reckon, lads? Goalkeeper to start with. Well, uh, with with discussion, we went for Joe Hart. Um, uh, he signed from Shrewsbury for one point five mil uh, to uh, City, and yeah, I think the stats speak for themselves. He won four Golden Gloves in five years, uh, two league titles, and uh, yeah, really really good. Yeah, um, yeah. Was, was he from Shrewsbury? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went on loan to Black, uh, Bright, uh, Birmingham as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah, he's a Midlands guy. <laughs> yeah, so but uh, so he he was a clear winner. Our other choices, I had Van der Sar from Fulham to Man United. Yeah, yeah, um, he, yeah. Like he was he was class, obviously, but for the uh, for the magnitude of uh, what Joe Hart achieved in like you know those five years, mental. Uh, I, I, yeah. I also put forward Petr Cech as well. I, I think he's, he was class. Obviously, uh, his career was... I, it, who knows what would have happened if he didn't get injured. He was still class after the uh, the horrible injury. But, you know, um, yeah, who knows what would have happened. Yeah, but Joe Hart, clearly clearly best keeper, tra- best transferred keeper, I think, in the Premier League. Yeah, definitely. He fell off a bit, fell off a bit since Pep went on loan to Italy. But, I mean... Then, I, from his transfer for those five years, he was he was yeah, great. He was top and did did well in being England number one as well. Yes, for indeed. Being, yeah, only one point five million. You can't complain at that. Yeah, exactly. Nope. Uh, for right uh, back, we we went with Kyle Walker. Yeah, it was a bit pricey right back though. Forty seven point five million from Spurs. Yeah, from Spurs. Yeah, but it was the right the right transfer, obviously, because he won countless cups with them. Got uh, made his way into the England squad because of the move, I think more so. So he's, he's like the modern modern day right back, isn't he? He he was like kind of the start of the. You need to be pacey Pace, to be a yeah, winger. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, he was he was a he was a short pacey winger that was put right back, and he, he proved proved. And now, but now now he's getting a bit older. He has been moved into a more cent- central defensive role for, in the England setup. He was playing on like the right of the three, wasn't he? Yeah, so so he's proved that he can play in most positions at the back. So anyone else, anyone else that was close for the right back, lads? Trent. <laughs> I'm, j- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. Never transferred anywhere. I know. I'm joking. You've got Trent on your mind. I do. Of course, yeah. I've, I've always got Trent on my mind. Oh, that's a mad sentence. <laughs> that's, that's a mad sentence. <laughs> Trent, I'm gonna cut that. That's Trent, gonna be a TikTok. Trent on the brain. Oh dear! No, um, I don't. I don't think we. <laughs> I don't think we came up with many other um, many other right backs. Uh, I think Carl Walker is the main one that came to mind for all yeah, of us. Yeah, best transferred. I don't think he's the best right back the Premier League's ever had. Oh no, definitely not. But yeah, he's up there, he's, he's up there for uh, after being transferred. What he did to develop the team he went into. Centre back. Yeah. Who's the first choice then? I think Company was Vincent our Company. best. Company. Vincent Company. Signing yeah. for signing for seven point five mil and the shift he put in at City was mental. And we've got to remember he was signed he was signed as a centre midfielder. Yeah. And um because Man City had signed Colo Torre, so like he was meant to be their their, their main defender. But then uh, that didn't really work out, so that he, he actually created a new role for company and that that's that now we remember him as the be- as one of the best defend Defenders Premier League history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. that's another yeah. reason why. That goal he scored against was it Leicester? That last, that, that, goal. that last goal he scored for City still haunts me. Still, <laughs> still <laughs> haunts me. Was it Aguero who runs out. over? Yeah. Yeah, well, like, God. don't shoot, don't and shoot, and he fucking buries Aguero it. Runs over, and he's like, "No, Vinny, don't do it." <laughs> it still haunts me to Elfer. this day. But yeah, um, he's definitely in there. Um, a legend in the in the sport, a uh, legend in Premier League history for me as well. Yeah, definitely. he won the same as Carl Walker. He was there a lot longer before Carl Walker. He was there at the beginning of the financial takeover, but he he won 
twice as many. He won he won all the all the trophies he ever wanted, apart from the Champions League, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Uh going from one legend to another, I think the next centre back is Nemanja Vidic. I think the name speaks for itself. Like you know, signing for nine point five mil from Spartak Moscow back in the day. I think um, yeah, you think Vidic, you think Premier League, you think legend. Basically, like there's nothing more yeah. really to say. He, he did, he did bits. He yeah. won Premier League and the Champions League. Yeah, and countless cups. Like yeah, proper oh, solid everything. classic centre back for me. Like. Pro- proper, proper hard net at the back. Nothing gets past him, apart from big games. But we don't talk about. <laughs> uh, now, he's a he's a legend in the sport as well. Same as same as same as um, company. Yeah, we had to mention him as well. A close, close third centre back would have been Virgil big, Van Dijk. Big Verge. But he didn't make it for me for the impact he he he, he hasn't made yet. I mean, he improved yeah. us significantly, but uh, I think we're going to have to win a bit more before he makes yeah. he, he makes the list compared to these two he that have already made it in. He hasn't got the he hasn't got the um, trophy cabinet of these two so precisely, far. which is which is why he didn't get in. But he's his, a, he's a close his, third. He, he name, will be there one day. His name isn't in the history books as much as these boys, but like maybe one day. But yeah, give it now, time. Yeah. Uh, for the left back, we went with Ashley Cole. I don't think there's anyone else we could have gone with. Playing for Arsenal and then playing for Chelsea, like he was probably one one of, if not the best left back in the Premier League they've ever had. Yeah, yeah he so signed for Chelsea for six million, so pretty cheap. Dirt cheap, dirt cheap, and that was when Arsenal were top of their game and Chelsea were top of the game as well. So yeah. it's like yeah. for a signer for six million is nothing. Uh, where did he come? Where where was he before Chelsea, or was he in uh, like? Where was he before Arsenal? <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> he was Spurs youth, I think, and then uh. joined joined Arsenal's like academy. Then was um, yeah, yeah, but I, I think a sec a close second would have been Robbo. Like he was yeah, from Hull. Hull for seven million or eight million or whatever it was. That's dirt cheap, but. But then you look at this: a six million, and he won t- titles and a Champions League with Chelsea. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, Robbo still. And he was with um, and he was with Cheryl. We just. Oh we yeah, just... That's what <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to give him kudos for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> but yeah, give Robbo time. He'll, he, he'll probably end up making the list in a uh, in a few years' time when we remake this uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to... Like, yeah. That was a bit. Aaron is just gonna have a whole Liverpool team when if we do this video over <laughs> again. It's, it's, it's last year's Liverpool team. It's his greatest of all time. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, right. Anyway, next uh, we we move on to the midfield, and uh, our first pick was uh, Vieira, signing yeah. back in the day to Arsenal from AC Milan for three point five million. What, what a, a steal! Like Absolutely what? the game. Oh, yeah. You're right there, Benny. Yeah. Have a bit of a fiddle. It's Mike wanking. Oh, here yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, absolute leader was part of the Invincibles. Yeah. One of the greatest. One of the greatest collective teams of Premier League history. Yeah. The games are a lot different now, and people say they wouldn't have made it now. The blah, Liverpool blah, blah, team blah. of last year would have beaten them. Just saying. Huh? The Liverpool team of last year would have beaten them. <laughs> We're not having this argument again. This is a Liverpool video. Uh, mate, it's just banter. Fucking, yeah, chill. <laughs> We've had this discussion so many times and you've never made me change my mind. Yeah, alright. All right. <laughs> um, uh, shut up. <laughs> that, that was, the at one point, probably still one of the greatest Premier League sides collectively of all time and he was their leader oh fully yeah yeah, yeah. 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 A, few, a few of those players could have got in this team yeah but yeah no I um, completely completely agree with what you just said there and I was just bantering about Liverpool but yeah Vieira leader just quality and for 3.5 mil I know it was back in the day when transfer fees weren't that high but still absolute steal that wasn't much so 3.5 mil still isn't yeah, a lot yeah it still wasn't a lot at all yeah and mainly because of the longevity of his career there. 
Like, he, he didn't just play and win one season. He was there a, a long, long time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arsenal legend. Uh, the next pick we went for was Yaya Torre. See, when this happened, I remember when this happened, 27 million from Barcelona. He did, He wasn't in the Barcelona squad. Like, he was He was like their second choice. It wasn't like, but that, they did have the greatest team ever there. So it was yeah. like, but 27 million was, I thought was a very expensive because he didn't play football there. Yeah. Looking back, that was, it's an incredible signing. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Absolute legend of the game, legend in the Premier League. Um, did absolute fucking one, bits. Won titles, won cups, won won everything. And you, you, uh, you, you say solid Premier League midfielder, and he's one of the first names that comes to mind. He is the first. Don't mention his birthday. Was, that him? Was he the one that went that um, none of the players said happy birthday or got him a cake or something, and he had a massive. Pissy fit. <laughs> this is see, this is the way Ben's mind works. I fucking love it. Just all these random Torre. things. Yeah, yeah, Torre birthday scandal. <laughs> yeah, 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 Torre birthday kink incident was brought up proportion when I, I he wanted to leave after no one gave him a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> only oh, Benny, God. only Benny would just know that off the top of his head like that. You. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, that's getting cut. Now. Oh, that that is getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, oh, that you can eat that, that that bit can just be bleak. We went uh, on. The, we're moving to the right now. Um, under much argument between me and Louis, we went with Ronaldo. Um, for when he went to uh, when he went to United. I don't think there's any other argument. The only people that would be arguing are Liverpool fans. Like it, Cristiano Ronaldo is in the greatest of all time category and he signed for United for 12 million. Yeah. First of all, that's cheaper than Salah was and it's like, Ronaldo, Ronaldo is, I think he's the greatest of all time. There's an argument for him not being the greatest of all time but he's up there. He's definitely he's up, up there. there. And I, I'm, there, I'm, yeah. no, I'm in no way debating that he wasn't good because he was fucking class. He was yeah, like, you can't debate it. Salah was better than him. He was 12 million pounds. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but what would that fear? He's only young, as well. He what was would, only young. What would that fear? Have, what would that fear have been if he signed in the same era as what Salah did? Yeah, but would he have been the same age he was? Yeah, same age. Or would he have been Salah? Yeah, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it's all relevant in it. But I, I, I understand what you're saying. And yeah, like, so I, I had to concede, like, but yeah, right, right, he, he, he deserves to be Salah. there. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's that's arguable uh, that him, but yeah, no, really not. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, obviously, obviously, I'm a little bit biased, and I'm coming across as very biased in this video. But you know, we we, we, we gave it to Ronaldo. Yeah, you're wearing a Liverpool hat in a in a in a non-biased football <laughs> channel. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to cover it up. I'm proud. Anyway, but yeah, we we gave it Ronaldo. Right. The the um the other argument obviously was Salah. He's he's beginning to encroach on some of Ronaldo's records, etc. But you know, for for the amount of money that he cost. Um, Ronaldo got into our team. Fuck off. Yeah. Really. Let's move on to left mid, um, which we went for David Silva. Yeah. 25 million from Valencia. What a legend. Just legend of the Premier League. And he's still tearing up now. He's uh, back to Spain. Absolutely still yeah. tearing up. But uh, yeah, from, from when he was in the Premier League, he just I icon, um, icon of the game. Uh, he won absolutely loads of City and City players. Have we actually? I, I, I've I've, I've realised this when we're going through. One, two, three, four, five so far. And then we've got another one. Uh, that's, Go. uh, spoiler alert, Benny. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, David Silva. There's no question for left mid, the greatest left mid transfer of the Premier League. There is no question. That's why there's so many Man City. There's a lot of Man City in this because they made such great transfers at that one yeah. era. Yeah, like they were the team to fucking not, beat. Not for, not for an expensive amount either. Yes, they had the oil money, but they seemed to be able to get like bargains okay. instead of yeah. But they had bargains, but they did multiple bargains, so they deal. They still yeah. spent millions. Yeah, but yeah, Robert Silva for the longevity again. Twenty-five million is not a lot. No, no, not a lot at all. 
not a lot at all. Um, so speaking of City players, Ben's already sort of alluded to it, but our first uh, forward we went for was Aguero. Yeah. Breaking Any. records upon records upon records. And uh, having such historical moments as a striker, that Aguero moment. The, the Aguero moment, yeah. Balotelli's only Premier League assist. He had two. Uh, he only had two assists his whole career. It no. Both one week after each other. <laughs> but okay. that moment is like a film. That season was like a film. You know what I mean? It was like you couldn't write that. Um, but not just that, he did break every record for a striker, and he's still going. Yeah. He's he's a little bit more injury prone now, but uh, when he when he plays, he still does the job. That, that comes of age. It does he does indeed. He's thirty six million from Atleti, so you can't can't question legend status there. No, no, no. You, you're very right. And speaking of legend status, the uh, the last forward he went for was Thierry Henry. I think that was, that was a given. Yeah, there was, there was an argument for us, but. Just because who he is, he is he is a legend. Fourteen million from Juventus is is nothing. And and he was Arsenal at one point. Like yeah, yeah. He was also part of that invincible invincible team. team yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, when you think of Arsenal, you think, you think of Henri. Really. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that that front duo, him and Burkamp. It yeah. Uh, the only thing he didn't win at, at Arsenal was uh, the Champions League. So he went to, at the near the end of his career, he went to Barca to win it. Yeah. And then back to Arsenal. There was... I, I, there, there was, was another... There argument was argument. For uh, Alan Shearer to get in there. Yeah, because of the records. But the records all have been broken. Yeah. And so, the, there is a record he does hold. But that was when there was, it wasn't... It wasn't a 38-game season, it was a 40... 44 game season so there's more games yeah and that was golden golden boot wasn't it yeah so I, that was the only argument I think the only but, argument we could have there's no debate in his world class but we put Aguero in over him because of Aguero breaking his records and still going we could have had Michael Owen could have done we could have had Ruud van Nistelrooy but no Michael Owen wasn't a transfer we, we could have had more players in that weren't transfers, but that's not the point of the video. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so Van Nistelrooy could have been a shout, but we went with Aguero and Henri. So should we go over the team? Yeah, just a quick re-round up. We had goalkeeper of Joe Hart, right back Carl Walker, two centre backs Company and Vidic, left back Ashley Cole, two centre midfielders of Vieira and Yaya Torre, right middle right wing of Ronaldo. Left uh, mid or left wing of David Silva, and then our strike force was Aguero and Henri. I think, like, I think um, if you put them together now and stick them in a team, they'd uh, they'd smash it. I think that's a slight problem though with something Louis said. What's right. that? Aguero hasn't broken Shearer's record. What record? The most goals scored in a season. Yeah, because there's a it was different amount uh, of games. Most goal most goals scored of all time. He's not broken it. Has he? No. Pierre has got two hundred and sixty. Aguero's got one hundred and eighty. Oh my lord! There was a record that um, he broke of Shearer's the other day, though. I'm pretty sure. I look like a fucking fool. We're on a football fucking page. But in prime, this is how we answer it. In prime, who would you have? Prime Shearer or prime Aguero? Prime Aguero. Yeah. Prime Aguero. Yeah. Big difference in their transfer fee. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. There's also a big difference in years and different football and all that, like the modern game. Yeah, so, put, yeah. put, uh, put Aguero in against some of the teams that Shiro would have faced back in the day and uh, he'd run rings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. E- even more so than what Shiro did. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we don't know. Aguero could still break, beat the record. Uh, we don't know how long he's going to be playing in the Prem for. Yeah, maybe. Well, he said he yeah. was going to stay yeah. until they won the, the Champions League, so he'll be there forever, but it looks a bit... For this year. This year. Yeah, I reckon this year. It all remains year. to be seen, but yeah. Oh, shut up, you fake scouts. Oh, no, I, I, we're not. I, did, I didn't say we're going to win it. I just don't no, think City are going to win it. You're not going to win anything. You're not winning anything. 
Who do you spot? Who do you spot? You're going to win. You're going to win the lowest position in table after winning it the year before. And Leicester, remember Leicester did that. And just, then you got relegated just, after. Oh, look, you're, bit, you're, you're all big headed because you think your team won the World Cup in the 66. We're win the World Cup! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Go that on. just about rounds it up for the best 11. Uh, so some controversy there at the end brought in by Benny. Thank you for that. Uh, that we can have gone wrong in the title now. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. No, uh, that that rounds up our top eleven. I'm sure there'll be a graphic um, to see. But yeah, yep. that's all of for today for Top Bins Football. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thank you for watching. Follow us on Twitter. Yes, links yes. down below. Links down below. Cheers, guys. Thank you.